Hey everyone, welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. Lately you might be wondering, how do vaccines work and how are they made? Well first let's take a look at what a vaccine is. The interesting thing about vaccines is that it contains the same germs, virus or bacteria that cause the disease. So for example, the measles vaccine contains the measles virus and the Hib vaccine contains the Hib bacteria. Wait a second. Are you saying that vaccines are injecting us with viruses and bacteria? Yes, but the key difference is that they have either been killed or weakened to the point that they don't make you sick. So you might be wondering, how is it that you don't get sick from vaccines? The answer has everything to do with how your immune system works. A vaccine stimulates your immune system to produce something called antibodies. This is exactly what would happen if you were exposed to the disease naturally. These antibodies will help you develop immunity to that disease inside the vaccine. Think of it like a training course for the immune system. This is what makes vaccines such a powerful medicine. Unlike other medicines which treat or cure disease, vaccines prevent them. Next, let's take a look at how we get sick. When foreign invaders such as bacteria or viruses enter the body, immune cells called lymphocytes respond by producing antibodies. These antibodies fight the invader known as an antigen and protect against further infection. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, a healthy individual can produce millions of antibodies a day, fighting infection so efficiently that people never even know they were exposed to the antigen. Unfortunately, the first time the body faces a particular invader, it can take several days to ramp up this antibody response. For really nasty antigens like the measles virus or the whooping cough, a few days is too long. The infection can spread and kill the person before the immune system can fight back. This is where vaccines come to the rescue. Vaccines are made of dead or weakened antigens, and antigens are just part of the virus or bacteria that alert the body to an infection. Immune cells can recognize antigens even from a dead or weakened virus or bacteria. Remember, vaccines can't cause an infection, but the immune system still sees them as an enemy and produces antibodies in response. After the threat has passed, many of the antibodies will break down, but the immune cells, called memory cells, remain in the body. When the body encounters the antigen again, the memory cells produce antibodies fast and strike down the invader before it's too late. Now that we know a little bit more about how vaccines work, let's take a look at how vaccines are made. In step one, the process begins with making the antigen with small amounts of a specific virus. This virus must be grown in a cell, such as cells from chicken embryos that reproduce repeatedly. The second step is to release the antigen from the cells and isolate it from the materials used in its growth as much as possible. The goal of this step is to release as much virus or bacteria as possible. Then in step three is the purification or filtration of the antigen from any remaining growth materials. In step four, materials are added to enhance the immune response and prolong the shelf life so that multi-dose vials can be used safely. The final step is to combine everything that makes up the final vaccine and mix them in a single vessel. Then they are packaged into vials, labeled and stored for widespread distribution. Not all vaccines are created the same way. There are four different strategies used to make vaccines. The first one is to weaken the virus so it reproduces very poorly once inside the body. We're talking only 20 times compared to the normal thousands, but it's enough for the memory cells to fight future infections. The vaccines for measles, mumps, chickenpox, and influenza are made this way. Strategy number two, inactivating the virus with a chemical makes it impossible to reproduce or cause disease. Immunity against the virus still works because it's still seen by the body as the disease. The polio, hepatitis A, and rabies vaccines are made this way. Strategy number three is use part of the virus and remove it to be used in the vaccine. This works when an immune response to one part of the virus is enough for protection against the disease. The hepatitis B, shingles, and HPV vaccines are made this way. And the last strategy is to use part of the bacteria. Several vaccines are made by taking toxins produced by the bacteria and inactivating them with a chemical which prevents the disease. Once the toxin is inactivated, it's called a toxoid. The diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis vaccines are made this way. As a vaccine is created, there are six general stages of development. They are exploratory stage, preclinical stage, clinical development, regulatory review and approval, manufacturing, and quality control. In the exploratory and preclinical stages, the vaccine is developed and tested in labs. This process can take several years. The FDA uses the information from these tests to decide whether to test the vaccine with people. 
During the clinical development stage, the vaccine is tested on people. During phase one, 20 to 100 volunteers receive the trial vaccine. In phase two, the clinical study is expanded and the vaccine is given to people who have characteristics such as age and physical health similar to those whom the vaccine is intended. In phase three, the vaccine is given to thousands of people and tested for efficacy and safety. Many vaccines undergo phase four, formal and ongoing studies after the vaccine is approved and licensed. Did you enjoy this video? Remember to like and comment on your thoughts about vaccines. Also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And feel free to check out some of my other videos to the right.